All right, guys. So this is another zero death game, and actually, so this is actually two zero death games. This is a special treat for you guys because I go both of these rounds without dying, without dying. We're gonna see, and I had a lot of opportunities to die, so we're gonna see what I did to not die here. Let's see what I did. So immediately I play back. I play back, and and immediately I check the enemy team. I check the enemy team because I, I want to be aware of how to best play to address my play to them. Um, I stay back, I heal my team, and I save my amp for my team. So you saw how many people, look, look how much I'm healing, 41, 22. My, a lot of my team members were hurt, and because I use my, my amp for, for healing, for, um, to, uh, to heal them instead of running in and trying to do damage, I was able to get a bunch of, uh, I was able to keep my team in the fight, and also able to generate a ton of ult. Like, my ult is already at 50%. Yeah. Even though I should do that, I should do that anyway. But I need to especially do that since there's a McCree. Yeah. So I see there's a McCree on the team. How do you best play to a McCree? Uh, well, what are the threats for McCree? He can flashbang you. That flashbang has very short range. So if you're elevated in a position, uh, if you're elevated, you're much harder to k kill uh, by that McCree. McCree also has the high noon. You need to be in cover when he high noons. I'm right next to cover here. So right here in this spot, this is a great spot on this map. I'm satisfying both the criteria for being safe from that McCree. And you notice I never died to McCree. Even though McCree is getting a lot of um, kills, I never died to him. Look at that. I just went back and sped up my team. I saw that a lot of my team were dead. And instead of running in, trying to capture the point, trying to do the job myself, I played team oriented. I went back. Found my team, amped them up, at the speed buff, very few times where a speed amp is appropriate, and got them back to the fight so they can play as a unit, right? I don't want my team running in and dying solo. I want them together supporting each other as much as possible. So that's why I went and got them. And now, because I'm playing Team RT, I got my ult here, and we can actually make a push. Notice here, I that was a great ultimate. Look at that. I... I use my speed amp first. So they run into combat, they're ready, everyone charged in, and now that they're ready to fight, I use my amp. So as they fight, they have this ult. That's how you should ult every time. That's a great use of the ult when you're trying to push a point. And we take this point because of that ult. That was a, that's how Lucio carries games. And look, when I'm on the point, I'm not just on the center, or I'm not just on the ground. I am up in the air, I'm on the walls, I'm flying back and forth, I'm being evasive, and as soon as I hear that reaper, yeah. <laughs> look at that. that, did you see that? I saw that reaper coming in, I knew that, I knew what I didn't know, I didn't know that reaper did not have his ult, like, I, 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 I didn't know that, I, I, I suspected that reaper has an ult because I haven't heard him use it, so that's a good assumption to make, when you don't know whether or not a person has their ult, it's a good assumption to assume that they do have their ult, and I was right there. So as soon as I started pointing in, I jumped, I, I left the point. I let them take it for a while, for a little bit because I don't want to die for I don't want to I don't want to die for it. And then we can I can regroup with my team and go back in there. As I have options when I live, and that and you just don't have those options when you die. You're just dead. So I didn't die. My entire team, like three people on that point, died to Reaper. And I didn't die because I played properly because I knew how to position. Because I made the right assumption that Reaper was going to ult. And he ulted and I lived. And, um, and I lived. And I was available to support the, the teams, um, the people on my team that didn't live. Or that did live. So now I'm going to get in the point. I feel pretty safe doing it because I know I can be elevated. I was right, way above that right heart. I was jumping over his head. right, And I'm going to get on this wall here. There you go. I'm on the walls. I'm not. I'm not just gonna be on the ground. Even while I'm healing, I'm not gonna be on the ground. I'm gonna be on these walls. Okay. Now I was. There you go. And I have my ult ready because I've been. And I had it because I generated really quickly by supporting my team by having my heal belt up most of the time. I'm having my ult ready when I need it to. When I need to have that ult ready. So and then I'm back. I'm back in the elevated position. I'm right back where I need to be in order to stop myself from dying. And then I have my ult available. I'm not using my speed amp to try to do damage because that's a very ineffective, ineffective way to play Lucio. I have my abilities ready to support my team. And notice how few times I've actually used my speed buff to save myself. Because I'm properly positioned, I save my, I save my abilities for my team. The less you use to support yourself, the more you can, the more you can support your team. 
you can support yourself by being properly positioned. And the more you are properly positioned, the less you support yourself. The more you support your team. I was there when my team needed me. I had great ults. I didn't die. I was there every time my team needed me that game. And we won that game because of that. I didn't die there. So now I'm going to show you this second game. I didn't die in this round either. Let's see what I did to not die. Let's see what I did. Alright. How can I get access to Overwatch? You can't at the moment. This is a pre-recorded video. Alright, so here we go. So I, get, I went this game as well. Two, two games in a row without dying. Two rounds. And that was a pretty close game. They could have definitely... The enemy team could have definitely won that had I been playing worse. Alright. And I... There we go. And I'll answer all your questions after I just finish uh, doing this right quick. But yeah, so let's see what, what I did to not die in this. Let's see how I supported my team here. Um, there we go. So I'm playing back. I'm playing back. Notice I'm keeping that Torbjorn in my heal range. And I'm also keeping the people in that room in my heal range. Because I'm positioned in such a way where I want to heal as much as possible. And so I, I want to contest this point. I see there's a Reinhardt on the point. I want to contest it. You don't need to be put. Um, you don't need to be on the point to contest it. I need to get off here because look, I could have died to that Reinhardt because I'm on the ground. I'm actually playing very dangerously. I need to get elevated, and I will get elevated. Right. And here we go. So I'm getting elevated. Here we go. Look at this. Look how far up I can be while still capturing the point myself. I am capturing the point. I am contesting the point. I am on the point while up there. You do not need to touch the point. You can be elevated. You do not need to touch the point. It makes you much more safe by being elevated on these points. So, um, Lucio's get off the ground. Get off the ground. Get elevated. Get good. Look at this. Look at this. I'm on this point the entire time. Get off the ground, guys. Somebody look at this. And I take that point. Notice how little damage I took while taking that point. We didn't, I didn't take like I barely took any damage at all while taking that point. I took that very slightly. I took that very cleanly because I was playing elevated. Reinhardt cannot kill me at all. Those elevation skills right there. <laughs> you have to stay in the center. And you have to only at a certain height. Yeah. I heard the drug rat. Yeah. Reinhardt has absolutely no way to kill me while I'm elevated like that. He can't charge me. He can't hit me with his melee. You know. He can't hit me with his ult. He can only do that little, you know, that little um, long range attack, which doesn't kill me at all. It does 100 damage. That doesn't come anywhere close to killing me. Reinhardt has no ability to kill me. If I was on the ground, he would have the ability to kill me. And I didn't die there. I barely even took any damage at all. That's how you play this map. And I'm still, I'm still on this, uh, I'm still trying to keep my team within line of sight. I'm healing four people here consistently, right? I, and I got my ult. I have my ult. Now I have my ult available to counter any play the team makes. Look at that. I'm not even afraid of that ult. I'm not even afraid of that ult. I just, I'm, just, I'm already elevated. I have nothing to fear from that ult. Like, it doesn't even see me. It doesn't even see me. So, if I was on the ground, I'd be panicking. Like, oh god, I need, I need to live. I'd probably use my speed buff to try to avoid it. But I didn't need to do any of that. I was just watching it very calmly. Like, oh, there goes that ult. It's not going to kill me because I'm properly positioned. But, so it's, it's a completely different mindset. Completely different way you play when you're properly positioned as opposed to when you're not properly positioned. You waste your cooldowns on yourself when you're not popular position, and when you are popular position, you can save them for your team. So I've had my ult here pretty much the entire game, um, you know, I, and I've had it ready. I've had it ready because I was I helped my team take that point early. And I'm in this corner, and I'm and I'm and my two of my team died to that, but I was popular position. I was able to take cover out of the moment's notice. There we go. I have my ult here, and we can help take the point back because I have my ult ready. Because I've been playing properly for my team, and here's you know. Um, oh, now I hear the fire in the hole. Now this is what happens when you're and look, look at that, look at that, look what I can do with with proper elevation. I just got up here. I got elevated. I, I'm in. A, I'm in a place that's hard to see. He probably didn't even know I was there, right? And I did not die. So now I'm trying to get back to that spot. Uh, but practice this. Practice that this this spot up there in the middle kind of scissors pillar kind of the size of these windows is invaluable And I didn't die there two rounds in a row did not die didn't even really come close to dying Didn't even really come close. I did my job. I did my job. I dropped down really good oats I healed my team had my team in line of sight of me pretty much 95% of the time I did work and I didn't die you can do it too so look you thanks for following man Welcome to the Elevation Nation. You, you, you get elevated, you, like, you jump higher, so you kind of have to like drop down a little bit. And let's see my stats. 33% of the team damage taken. I did work, got a card. 
That's a that's a that's really good healing. I was there for thirty three percent of the damage uh, to heal thirty three percent of the damage that my team took. Let's look at my stats: zero deaths, five thousand eight hundred healing, twelve sound barriers provided, six eliminations. When you're safer, you do more damage as well. So I got six eliminations because I was playing safe. I got good healing. I got I got my oh really fast. Uh, CK Toxic, thanks for following, man. Stop dying. Get off the ground. Do your job while not dying. It's possible. There you go. There you go. Elevation Nation, guys.